The Avars Driven across the Frostbacked in ancient times, the Alamari tribesmen split into three groups. One settled the Ferelden Valley, one was pushed into the Kakari Wilds, and the last returned to the mountains. Modern Ferelden's bear little resemblance to their Alamari ancestors, and the Chasen remember a few of their traditions, but the Avars have changed little throughout the ages. Like the Chasen, the Avars are not a united people. Each tribe fends for itself and is beholden only to its thane. They still follow their own gods, Korth the Mountain Father, Hack on Winter's Breath, the Lady of the Skies, as well as dozens of animal gods never named to outsiders. Nothing lasts in the mountains. Wind and rain eventually eat away the strongest holes. Valleys that were arable one generation are locked in year-round ice the next. Game is constantly on the move. Even among themselves, the Avar make no absolute promises. They wed by a tradition in which the groom struggles to untie a tightly knotted rope, while the bride sings a hymn to one of the gods. However many knots he has undone by the time her song ends is the number of years she will spend with him. Lowlanders often forget that there is no such thing as a permanent alliance in the Frostbacks. From Ferelden, Folklore and History, by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. <laughs>